Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming to the talk. I'm Shruti. I'm a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University. And today I'll be talking about my work on cross-lingual entity linking for low resource languages. This is the first section of a four part talk. In this part, I will describe cross-lingual entity linking, the methods that are typically used and the associated challenges for low resource learning. Parts two and three of the talk will discuss an entity linking model that overcomes some of these challenges using transfer learning and pivoting. And finally, in part four, I discuss how the entity linking model can also be used to improve low resource named entity recognition. So let's get started with looking at the entity linking task. As we all know, natural language text often contains words that represent named entities like person names, organization names, or location names. Entity linking is the task of associating these named entities with their corresponding entries in a structured knowledge base, such as Wikipedia or Freebase. For example, we have these two sentences here that contain the entity Carnegie Mellon University. As seen here, the same named entity can have different surface forms. The goal of the entity linking system would be to identify the appropriate Wikipedia entry for the named entity mentions. Knowledge bases typically contain a large amount of information about each entity in a structured form. For example, the info box on Wikipedia always contains specific details about entities, such as the capital and the population of a country. Grounding named entity mentions from text to a knowledge base through entity linking is useful because having this structured information can help several downstream applications like information retrieval, semantic search, and document understanding. Cross-lingual entity linking involves linking entities in one language to a knowledge base in another language, such as linking the entity Carnegie Mellon University in different languages to the same knowledge base in English. Most prior work uses English Wikipedia as the target knowledge base. Cross-lingual entity linking is very useful because the information from the knowledge base enables partial understanding of the document without needing to translate, translate all the text into English. Entity linking methods typically have two steps. The first is candidate retrieval, where a short list of candidates from the knowledge base is collected based on the input named entity. Candidate retrieval algorithms are designed to be computationally efficient because they operate on the entire knowledge base, which usually contains millions of entries. The second step is disambiguating between the candidates in the shortlist and identifying the most appropriate knowledge base entry as the entity link for the input. An important difference as compared to candidate retrieval is that disambiguation methods take the sentence and document level context of the input entity into account when selecting the entity link. The methods used in this step are usually more complex and computationally expensive which makes it impossible to run them on the entire knowledge base. The candidate retrieval step is thus necessary to reduce the search space for the disambiguation model. A candidate retrieval method with high recall is essential for good performance because if the list doesn't contain the correct entity link, then it cannot be recovered in the second step. In this talk, we will primarily focus on developing a model to improve candidate recall for low resource settings. Before jumping into the method, let's take a look at the candidate retrieval process. The input is a pre-extracted named entity mentioned from a sentence or a document. The candidate retrieval process includes scoring the input mention with respect to each entry in the knowledge base, and the top scoring entries are selected as candidates for the downstream disambiguation method. Since we're focusing on cross-lingual entity linking in this talk, the candidate retrieval method will score the knowledge base entries with respect to input mentions that are from some other language. 
Most existing methods for cross-lingual candidate retrieval attempt to translate the input entity mentioned from the source language to the knowledge-based language, which is typically English. After the mention is translated, simple string matching methods can be used to find appropriate candidates. The translation process often relies on Wikipedia language links. These language links essentially connect pages about the same entity between the different between the Wikipedias of different languages. For example, articles about the United States, which is a, which is a specific entity, are linked across all languages that have a Wikipedia. These links are used to construct a bilingual dictionary, which is then used to translate the named entities that need to be linked to the knowledge base. Around 300 languages have a Wikipedia. For some of these languages, such as Swedish and German, the, the Wikipedia has a large number of pages and over a million language links to the English Wikipedia, resulting in high coverage bilingual lexicons for translating input mentions during candidate retrieval. However, for lower resource languages like Tigrinya and Lao, far fewer Wikipedia articles and language links exist, which makes it difficult to apply existing methods that rely on these links for candidate retrieval. And if we have to scale up to a large percentage of the world's 7,000 living languages, Wikipedia and other bilingual resources don't exist in the majority of these. And performing cross-lingual entity linking with these methods, with translation-based methods, is usually infeasible. So as an alternative to these existing methods, in this talk, I will present a model for retrieving candidates that doesn't rely on any bilingual resources in the source language for training. Instead, the model is trained using data from high resource languages, which are more easily available. The model is then transferred to low resource languages in a zero shot manner, where no source language data is used for fine tuning or joint training the model. In the next two parts of the talk, I will discuss the zero-shot cross-lingual entity linking model, empirically showing its utility on several low resource languages. And in part four of the talk, I demonstrate how the candidates retrieved with the proposed entity linking model can also be used to improve low resource named entity recognition. Uh, so that concludes the first part of the talk, and I'll see you in the next part where we'll talk about the model.